Has this ever happened to you? You find yourself needing an image, and so you, you, know, you go to Unsplash.com, you download it, only to realize that it is humongously big and you can't use it on your website. And so now, of course, you need to resize it using something like Photoshop or Pixelmator, and then run it by an image optimizer like ShortPixel to then being finally able to upload it to your WordPress media library. I mean, it's a process, a process that I'm really happy to announce that you can say goodbye to, at least if you're building your pages with Thrive Architect. You see, we're officially releasing a native integration with Unsplash that allows you to quickly insert images from Unsplash anywhere on your pages. In fact, it even works for your featured images as well. You simply have to look for the image that you wanna use, hit insert and boom, it's now inside your WordPress media library and you can use it however you wish. Pretty cool, but if you're using Thrive Apprentice to sell your online courses, you may wanna stick around to see what I'm about to show you. Today, we're also releasing course level grading and let me just jump into Thrive Apprentice and show you what that looks like. Perfect, so I'm in the back end of Thrive Apprentice as you can see and I've created a course called Pre-Calculus. Let's just go ahead and put ourselves in the shoes of a teacher that is teaching pre-calc. I think that course level grading is going to be particularly useful for, for teachers and uh, you know coaches that really want to test out their students' knowledge, um, as you're about to see and understand why. But to be honest, I'm excited to see what you guys can do with this. Uh, there's always use cases that I see uh, you guys you know doing that end up surprising me by, by a mile. So anyways, let me just uh, keep on explaining what course level grading is. So as you can see, um, back into Thrive Apprentice, we've got a course called Precalculus. Inside this course, I've got one, two, three, four different modules. Inside each module, I've got three lessons and one assessment. For the first quarter, I'm asking students uh, to, complete a, a, to complete a quiz. For module number two, towards the end, I've got a video project that they need to complete which essentially simply prompts people to insert a YouTube URL. For this particular assignment, I am manually reviewing the videos and assigning a score. If that score is higher than 60, then um, I am going to be passing that student based on that uh, passing score. For the quiz on module number one, I forgot to mention that um, I'm not manually reviewing these quizzes. These are multiple choice quizzes that you can just build out with Thrive Quiz Builder. Uh, if people get 60% on, 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 um, on that first quiz, then uh, they get automatically passed and they can move on to the second module. For module three, I'm simply asking people to uh, submit an essay and um, I'm manually obviously reading the essay. And if I give them a passing score of 60, then they can go ahead and move on to the following lesson, which is um, the fourth quarter following module, which would be Quarter number four, again, we've got two lessons, a final review lesson, and then a final exam that they take here towards the end of the course. And for this final exam, once again, I am simply uh, not even reviewing the quizzes. These are just multiple choice quizzes that I'm building up with Thrive Quiz Builder. And as long as they get 60% of those questions correct, they're going to be um, considered as, you know, having passed the assessment and they will have successfully completed the course. So up until now, this is pretty familiar stuff. But if I now jump over into the course completion tab, you're gonna see that a few things have changed here. Number one, we can um, obviously customize what happens once people uh, complete the course. In this case, we can simply redirect people to the uh, course completion page that Thrive Apprentice uh, uh, generates for us by default. And of course, this is a page that you can fully customize both the template that we've generated for you that comes uh, by default with Thrive Apprentice and the actual content of the page itself. So you're more than free to do that. But then of course, we've got this recently released feature called course level grading. If we enable this, now um, I am free to pick and choose how I wish to weight each different assessment included in my course and give a final course to each of my students. So here we can pick and choose how we wish to weight assessments. We can uh, weight all assessments evenly, which in that case, uh, you know, if since I have four assessments, each of them would be worth 25%. But let's just say that I want to manually weight each different assessment. I could technically speaking, uh, make the final exam worth 50% of the final grade. And that would automatically, as you can see, uh, modify how the other three assessments that are included in my course 
um, be weighted as well. But if I wanted to, you know, say that I want to give uh, quizzes a little bit of more weight because people need to come in a little bit more prepared. Uh, we can obviously modify this and make the first quiz, uh, the first quiz of the first of the first quarter. Let's just make that twenty five percent, and you can see how the other uh, remaining assessments are constantly being uh, reweighted to make sure that they all add up to a one to a to, to a final grade that essentially adds up to 100%. But we didn't stop there. This is pretty cool. Watch this. Right now I am displaying the grade as a percentage, right? I mean, I'm simply adding up the different weights for each different assess assessment, which in this case it's 25%, 12 point 12.5, 12.5 and 50%. But I could change change this and make it um, score based. Score based is pretty much um, the same thing as percentage based, except that you're not displaying it as a, as a percentage, you're simply showing off a score, or you could also come up with your own categories. Since we're a pre-calc teacher, it makes sense for us to simply have um, perhaps like a passed or failed grade, but let's just say that we don't wanna just pass or fail people. Let's actually give people a letter value depending on what grade they've gotten, right? So we can edit the ranges and make people that have gotten um, 59 points or less a failed mark, if they get 50, 60 to 69, let's make this 60 to 69, it's going to be, so this is gonna be 70. Let's get rid of that one. Let's do 60 to 69 is going to be past. 60, actually 70 to 79 is going to be a C. So this would actually be a D, this would be an F. Here we can have 80 would be a B. And of course, anything above 90 would be considered an A. Pretty cool stuff, right? I mean, you don't have to necessarily either pass or fail people. You can classify people into different categories. I'm giving people the classic traditional letter um, you know, letter grade that you get in high school or college, but uh, you know, you could classify uh, people into an excellent category or a needs improvement, or you know, you're more than free to come up with your own categories. And what's really cool about course level grading as well is that uh, you can determine whether you want to issue a certificate based on um, the score that people have gotten or just issue a certificate upon uh, completing. Uh, your course. So let's just say that, you know, only issue a certificate when a member achieves a course uh, score equal to or greater than 60. This means that sure, people may complete your course, but if they fail it, or if they uh, don't get at least 60% of your um, questions or assessments correct, or if they don't get at least a, a score of 60% on all of your assessments, then they're not going to, they're not going to receive a certificate. This is actually pretty cool because, you know, a lot of people will sign up for courses, but if you're, you know, I've seen, especially people in the tech space or um, people that want to be, that want to learn a skill, but you don't, if you're a coach, you don't necessarily want to certify people that you don't feel comfortable with their knowledge. This is actually pretty cool because now you're more than free to control okay, how many paying customers you wanna have, but how many of those paying customers are actually being certified by your brand? Only the very top ones will, if you give this a score of like 90%, okay? You're only issuing certificates that are going to include your logo uh, so far as, you know, they're, you know, high performing students. So, you know, you can kind of see how you're, how you, you've you got the creative freedom to kind of pick and choose how you want to um, issue certificates to your students. And that would be course level grading. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this round of updates, be sure to give me a big thumbs up button. We have some, you know, some more cool things lined up coming out really soon. And if you wanna make sure you stay notified about those, you're more than welcome to subscribe to our channel. I truly appreciate your time and I'll be catching you soon. Thanks again.